Hello, my dear students. Now, the molecular orbital theory. It is based. It will tell the bond order, shape, bond order, and paramagnetism characters clearly. Look here. Suppose that known formation of H two, we will get clearly by the molecular orbital theory. Suppose that there is a H E two molecule. It is formed by the two atoms of helium. H. This is an atom of helium. This is another atom of helium. And in helium atom, one s two and one s two. This is what atomic orbital. This is what atomic orbital of helium. So one atomic orbital mixed with another atomic orbital, we will get molecular orbital. And molecular orbital has two part. Lower side it is called bonding molecular orbital. Upside anti bonding molecular orbital. And in this one as two electrons are there, and in this two electrons are there. Now we will draw the diagram again and explain you the known formation of CO two on the behalf of bond order, which was given. By the MOT, this is one s of one atomic orbital. This is one s of an other helium atomic orbital. They both are having two two electrons in between them. As I told you, this is the bonding molecular orbital represented by sigma one s. Bonding means less energy. First, it will be formed. Then another is what anti bonding. Sigma one s star. Now first two electron will go to the bonding here this side, then to this side. Then he has given the formula of bond order. Half multiply with number of electron in bonding molecular orbital and number of electron in anti bonding. Now look this half into two minus two. So you are getting what? Two minus two, you are getting zero. So finally, what? Half multiply with zero, so its bond order is coming. Finally, zero. So it means helium and helium has no bond, and all electrons are pair, either it is bonding or anti bonding. So no paramagnetism. Now I'll take one more example of nitrogen, and then rest you will do with your cell phone. Yes, my dear students. Now the molecular orbital diagram of the nitrogen. You will see that in nitrogen molecule, two atom of nitrogen are there, N seven and N seven. Their electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, and two p three. And the same we have done in the case of helium, which I have explained. First one s one s, then two s two s orbital, mixing up and formation of the bonding and non bonding orbitals. Now two p, two p are there is a two level diagram, the two p one and two p another of nitrogen, and both of have three three electrons. So I fill the electron one two three one two three downside first. P and P orbital are two type. P X sideways overlapping, P Y sideways overlapping, but they are forming the pi bond and they are from two. It is called pi to P X and pi to P Y. This is what sigma to P Z. Because of that, Z orbital is head to head, and then it is. Pi to P X anti bonding. Pi to P X anti bonding by star. Pi to P Y anti bonding by star. Then sigma to P Z anti bonding. Now look, there are six electrons, and you can fill the electron from bonding molecular orbitals in Pi to P X. Pi to P Y and then sigma. 
this is what the order of energy of the orbitals in the molecular orbital and this energy order and now look that first bond order bond order is formula 1 by 2 number in bonding orbitals minus number in anti bonding orbitals half in bonding there are 2 4 6 these are equal and opposite of 1s and 2s they will cancel out with each other and in the nitrogen you are watching here 6 electron are present in the bonding and in anti bonding there is no electron so 0 so finally bond order will become what 3 and you know very well nitrogen is attached with another 3 bond with another nitrogen and there is no unpaired electron so no paramagnetism and this is what the order of energy sigma 1s sigma 1s antibonding sigma 2s sigma 2s antibonding then pi 2px equals to pi 2py you can fill any one and then sigma 2pz so this is what the filling up of the orbital energy order in the molecules and my dear student here one thing I would like to tell you up to nitrogen the energy order is this and above nitrogen means of that oxygen onward oxygen onward there is some change this is reverse sigma 2pz first will come this is uh, this is pi 2pz normal not anti bonding this is what the pi 2px pi 2py sigma 2pz normal but in the case of first oxygen sigma 1s sigma 1s anti bonding sigma 2s sigma 2s anti bonding and then sigma 2pz will first come and then come pi 2px or pi 2py if he will ask why this is so then you will say that this is the orbital mixing effect oxygen onward orbital mixing effect and he will put to the question why orbital mixing effect then you will say that energy consideration and after that if you are having doubt consideration you can contact me and one more thing if he will say you one question I am writing down compare the relative stability of O2 negative 2 O2 negative 1 O2 O2 positive 1 and O2 positive 2 and N2 also then my dear student the answer is that stability will comes from the bone order <coughs> Stability is directly proportional to bond order. When you find out the bond order of O2 negative 2 is least, so O2 negative 2 is less than O2 negative 1, is less than O2, is less than O2 plus 1, and is less than O2 plus 2, and nitrogen bond order is 3. You compare by decreasing or increasing the electron, it will come near about the O2 plus 2 and you can see with yourself own and this question will definitely be asked in number of exams and be careful and be prepared nitrogen bond order is 3 and if we will go with the O2 plus 2 so O2 plus 2 is coming in this way O2 plus 2 means 2 electrons are less and O2 atomic number is what? 8 one oxygen 8, another oxygen is 8. So it is coming what? 
2p4 and 2p4 when you fill in the oxygen diagram so what you will get 2p4 4 electrons are this side and 4 are this side then 6 electrons will be filled here and 2 electrons upside according to the which I have explained you now the bond order half number of bonding minus number in antibody so O2 plus 2 means of that 2 electrons are less O2 is having 8 electrons so there are 4 and 4 but what left 6 are left so means of that which 2 upside 2 electrons are least half and numbering bonding 6 in this one 0 and finally becomes 3 O2 plus 2 we are discussing now so 2 electrons will not fail be here so this is very easy and inter interesting question my dear student do not left the MOT if you have any doubt you can contact me